this is more like the homework, right? And you see this a lot. They give you all these experiments. And there's a lot of reading in there, but pretty much the only thing that matters is write the whole rate law. And they even want, they even want to know a number for the rate constant. They want the entire rate law. Amanda, let's start out by just writing our general rate law. Otherwise, we don't have a little guide for anything. So how would we, in general, write our rate law for this? You'd write what? First, you write, yeah, over here. Keep going. Yeah, not E, though. Pick a CLO2, right? Raise to the X. Yeah, keep going. What's the other reactant? Hydroxide, everybody raised to the y. y. And then on the left-hand side, you're supposed to write the word rate. Okay, so this is what we're generally supposed to follow. Okay. So, Sylvia, we need to pick two experiments where one reactant what? Pick two experiments where one reactant stays constant. Okay. So Ray, you see them? See two experiments that we could we could compare? Three. Okay, he sees two reactants and he sees well one reactant in there or its concentration doesn't change. That's CLO2 doesn't. Okay. So Genevieve, let's not skip any steps though. I want to plug <laughs> stuff into this, see how things change following the rate law. So first, I'm going to see how the rate changed. Let's, let's not skip any steps, Genevieve. Let's write in what number over what number. Yeah. Okay. Point zero zero two seven six and the point zero zero eight two eight. Now you notice, I wrote which one on top. The bigger one. Because we're 4 equals 2 to the x. Right? You don't want decimals in there. It's going to, you have to use your calculator. Then. So always write the bigger one on top, and life is going to be so much easier. Okay, so we just compared the rates. Now let's compare the k's, Jessica. So we're supposed to write what? Oh, yeah, but first, I don't want to. Skip any steps. You're right, Jessica, you're right. But I want to write one for the K. Okay? Now let's do your CLO2 part. What would you what was she saying? Write what over what? 0 0.02 all over 0 0.02. Everybody raised to the X. Right? All we're doing is comparing experiments two and three. Vanessa. Vasquez, now we got to, okay, we did the K. Next was the CLO2, now we got to do the hydroxide. So you're going to write what? Bigger one on top, 0 0.09, 0 0.03. Good, don't forget to raise it to its power. Now we got to do the math. Let's see. 0 0.00828 divided by 0 0.00276. I got three. Yeah, thanks. Three. Three has to equal one times one to the x times. That should be three, right? To the y. So what does this look like? Three equals three to the y. Yeah, we got our Y, okay? So let's get our X. What two experiments, Jessica Vaughn, do you think we should compare? Erase these. What two experiments do you think we should compare to get our X? She says one and two. Oh, yeah, I see it now. 
right? Because then those two aren't. Everybody see why she picked one and two? Okay. Do the exact same thing, Nick. So... Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something that looked weird there. 0.0248 is bigger, so you're fine. And then 0.0026. Okay. And then, Mariella, what do I suggest writing next? The one for the comparing the Ks. Now let's compare the chlorine dioxide, Alexa, and you'll write what? 0 0.06 over 0 0.02, and that needs to be raised to the X. And then we got to compare the hydroxides, Adrian. Comparing the hydroxides. Yeah, raise to the raise to the Y, or raise it to the one, because we know what Y is now. But you get the same result no matter what. 0.0248, divide that by 0 0.00276, and I got about 8.98. Yeah, I'll just write this out, then we'll see. 8.98, 0.06 over 0.02, oh, forgot about my one. 0 0.06 over 0 0.02 is 3 raised to the x. And then that'll be 1 raised to the y. Okay, now you're wondering about the 8.98. They're going to want you to what? Round it to 9. Yep. Okay. So we really end up with 9 equals 3 to the x. Is 2. We got them. Okay. Now we got to... We got to get the k. They want us to write... Notice the question. They want us to obtain the rate law and the value of the rate constant. So if they say obtain the rate law, that means this thing right here, right? You got to know what k is and x and y. Okay, so let's get k. Now remember what our rate law is so far. Our rate law is rate equals k clo2. We now we know x is two, and we know the y is one. So this is where we're at so far. We got to get our k. So, Pablo, what was suggested, I don't know, 10 minutes ago? To do what? Yeah, plug in, pick any, not pick any, any one experiment, because you can get the same K no matter what. So what experiment would you like to plug in the number score? Number one. He says number one. So let's use data from experiment number one. doesn't matter which one. So, Javier, according to experiment number one, what's the rate? Point zero. And what do I put in for the K? Just K? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Okay. And then the chlorine dioxide, Lewis, what's its concentration? The chlorine dioxide, the ClO2. Isn't the I was trying not to have to scroll up. Did we read it wrong? Oh, yeah. There's our rate. 0.0248. Whoops. I should have scrolled up to make sure I forget who screwed up. 0.248K in CLO2, everybody, is what? And don't forget to raise it to the power. And the hydroxide is? 0 0.03. 0 0.03 raised to the 1. Now let's just check to make sure. Chlorine dioxide is, there's 0 0.06. And hydroxide is 0.03. Good. Okay. Now you got to get your K. We'll have 0 0.0248 equals K. 0 0.06 squared is about 3.6 times 10 to the negative 3. All right. So how do you 
that K just divides 0.0248 by those two numbers, right? 3.6 to 10 negative 3 and 0.03. Okay. Yeah. So if you do this right, somewhere around 230 or so, somewhere around 229, 230, okay? Okay, but really not quite done because they want the rate law. So you should you should really write it, right? Rate equals now what's k? Two thirty. The next thing you're supposed to write are the concentrations raised to their powers. So ClO two raised to what power did we figure out? Two and hydroxide raised to we found out the y was a one. There's our answer. <laughs>